A last will and testament can be made in South Dakota to protect a person's estate in the event of their death. A will is a legal document that ensures proper distribution of a person's property, and best of all, it doesn't require hiring an expensive attorney in many cases. In this video, we'll go over the importance of wills and what happens when one isn't made, what's included in wills, legal requirements in South Dakota, and how and where to create an official will. Let's begin. First, let's discuss wills and their importance. A last will and testament, simply known as a will, gives a person the opportunity to set detailed instructions on how to distribute their property and assets upon death. The will maker can designate the individuals who shall inherit all or a certain portion of their estate by naming the intended beneficiaries. These can include spouses, children, relatives, and any other person or entity the maker of the will chooses. But now, what occurs if no will is left? A person who passes away without a will in South Dakota loses control of who inherits their property. Instead, state law will have final say on how the deceased assets are managed and distributed. Usually spouses and children receive the property in these cases, but it varies. Disputes among loved ones tend to arise when the state handles inheritance as opposed to the person to whom the property actually belongs. With that in mind, it's highly recommended for all adults to have a will, particularly those who are elderly or facing life-threatening conditions. Making a clear will can make all the difference when ensuring loved ones receive their fair share of the estate. And best of all, wills can be drafted without an expensive attorney required. A person of sound mind can draft a will in South Dakota with the following information on the document. Their full name and residing address. The information of their personal representative, also known as the executor, who will distribute the assets accordingly. The names of all beneficiaries and a thorough list of the property and assets each shall receive. Any additional terms and conditions. And the signatures of the testator and two witnesses. Finally, let's look at some legal requirements in South Dakota. Last will and testaments in South Dakota must be signed by the person to whom the will belongs, known as the testator, in the presence of two or more trusted and competent witnesses. Though optional, it is recommended that both witnesses be disinterested parties. Disinterested parties are individuals who do not stand to personally benefit from the will or receive a share of the testator's estate. Once signed and executed, the document will be legally binding under law. Several copies can be made and given to trusted individuals for safekeeping. We're eForms, the biggest database of legal documents. We have created state-specific last will and testament templates specifically designed for South Dakota that are quick and easy to fill out. Our software generates an official document after you select your desired will instructions and name all of your beneficiaries. Click on the link below to begin creating your will. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily videos and visit our website for more free legal information.